com. The next is an interesting problem because we had already discussed one problem of men and women uh, doing embroidery work. Uh, such a question, such type of a question is the next one. The question here it is: Two water taps together can fill a tank in nine and three by eight hours. The tap of larger diameter takes ten hours less than the smaller one. to fill the tank separately find the time in which each tap can separately fill the tank i shall read the question once more two water taps together can fill a tank in 9 and 3 by 8 hours the tap of the larger diameter takes 10 hours less than the smaller one to fill the tank separately find the time in which each tap can separately fill the tank that is the question so let us assume the time taken by let the time taken by the smaller tap to fill the tank to fill the tank to be x hours our first assumption is the time taken by the smaller tap to fill the tank is equal to x hours therefore part of the tank part of the tank filled in 1 hour will be equal to part of the tank filled by the smaller tap in 1 hour will be equal to 1 by x 1 by x of the volume of the tank is filled by the smaller tap in 1 hour that is the meaning now our next assumption is the time taken by time taken by the larger tap to fill the tank to fill the tank is equal to it is given in the question that it will take the larger tap 10 hours less than it is x minus 10 hours time taken by the larger tap to fill the tank is equal to x minus 10 hours therefore part of the tank therefore part of the tank filled in 1 hour will be equal to 1 by x minus 10 1 by x minus 10 of the total volume of the tank will be filled by the larger tap in 1 hour that is the meaning of this statement now part of the tank part of the tank filled by both the two taps both the two taps in 1 hour is equal to 1 by x plus 1 by x minus 10 this is part of the tank filled by both the two taps in 1 hour is equal to 1 by x plus 1 by x minus 10 now it is given in the question that if the both two taps are opened the tank will be filled in 9 and 3 by 8 hours time taken by both the two taps time taken by both the two taps to fill the tank to fill the tank is equal to 9 and 3 by 8 hours means 9 and 3 by 8 is a mixed fraction we are converting this mixed fraction into an improper fraction 9 into 8 72 plus 3 75 by 8 hours therefore part of the tank therefore part of the tank filled by both the two taps both the two 
tabs in one hour will be 8 by 75 that means 8 by 75 of the total volume of the tank will be filled by both the two tabs in one hour here the statement is part of the tank filled by both the two tabs in one hour here also part of the tank filled by both the two tabs in one hour therefore the right sides also must be the same that means 1 by x plus 1 by x minus 10 is equal to 8 by 75. Now we are obtaining an equation. Now we have to change this equation in the standard form of a quadratic equation. For that we are taking the LCM. LCM is x into x minus 10 cross multiplying x minus 10 plus 1 into x x is equal to 8 by 75. Now x plus x 2x minus 10 divided by x square minus 10x is equal to 8 divided by 75. Now cross multiplying 8 into x square 8x square minus 8 into 10x 80x is equal to 75 into 2x 150x minus 75 into 10 750. Now bring both these two terms on the right side to the left side. 8x square minus 80x minus 150x plus 750 is equal to 0. Now, we can simplify this equation as 8x square minus 80x minus 150x is equal to minus 230x plus 750 is equal to 0. Now, we can divide throughout by 2, 8x square by 2, 230x by 2, 750 by 2. We are dividing throughout by 2, 4x square minus 115x plus 375 is equal to 0. Now, A is equal to 4, B is equal to minus 115 minus 115, C is equal to 375. Then, B square minus 4AC, B square minus 4AC is equal to minus 115, the whole square, minus 4 into 4 into 375. Now, we have to find out the square of 115, 115 into 115. Five seventy five one one five one one five. Thirteen thousand two hundred twenty five. Thirteen thousand two hundred twenty five. Minus four into four into three seventy five. That means sixteen into three seventy five. Six thousand. Now thirteen thousand two hundred twenty five minus six thousand. Is equal to seven thousand two hundred twenty five. We obtained the value of the discriminant or b square minus 4 as 7225. Now we have to find out the value of the x. Using quadratic formula, x is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac, the whole divided by 2a. x is equal to, the value of b is minus 115, therefore minus b is equal to 115 plus or minus root of 7225 divided by 2 into value of a is equal to 4. Now, x is equal to 115 plus or minus square root of 7225 is equal to 85. Therefore, x is equal to 115 plus 85 by 8, 115 minus 85 by 8. That is, x is equal to 200 by 8, 30 by 8. That is, x is equal to 25 and 30 by 8 is equal to 3.75.
Now, we have to take the value. Here, both the values are positive. But we cannot accept the value 3.75 because we had assumed that the time taken by the smaller tap is equal to x and the time taken by the larger tap is equal to x minus 10. If we take the value x is equal to 3.75, then x minus 10 will be 3.75 minus 10 and it will be a negative number. So, here also we can accept the value x is equal to 25. That is time taken by smaller tap is equal to 25 hours and time taken time taken by the larger tap larger tap is equal to 25 minus 10 is equal to 15 hours. We can accept the value x is equal to 25. We cannot accept the value 3.75 because when we are finding the time taken by the larger tap, it is x minus 10. That means 3.75 minus 10 and it will be a negative number. Negative number cannot be the time. Therefore, the time taken by the smaller tap is equal to 25 hours and the time taken by the larger tap is equal to 25 minus 10 is equal to 15 hours. Okay.